Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. Today we're going to discuss how you might pick yarn when you can't actually get to a yarn shop. Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Ladder to help you learn to knit the easy way. Yes, how can you pick yarn when you can't get to a yarn shop? I suggest in quite a lot of my videos and in my knitting courses as well that you actually go to a yarn shop to feel the yarn, to look at the yarn, to choose and pick the colours. And at the moment, a lot of yarn shops are closed um, or they're open but only doing online shopping. So it can be difficult. How do you choose yarns when basically you've got a computer screen looking at you? And usually in the comments or in the description of the yarn it says, Please note, the yarn colour may not be exactly what you're looking at because you're using a computer screen to look at it. Different computer, computer screens will show you a different colour. And you sit there and you think, what am I doing? Why do I even bother? It appears and it's the wrong colour. So I've got lots of tips for you. Let's figure out how to choose yarn when you can't actually look at it face to face. So the first thing is, if you're on Instagram, Look for tags for those particular yarns because you can bet those hashtags will send you to places where people have used it, people have stashed it, people have knitted with it and you can look at the finished projects, you can look at piles of the yarn, someone else has taken a photograph by seeing a general view of lots of different photographs of the same yarn and the similar colours then you can actually find it easier to choose. And you say, well, someone's knitted a pair of socks with it, someone's knitted a jumper with it, someone's knitted a scarf with it, and you go, oh, actually, it's a really um, versatile yarn. I think I'll understand that. But you might find another yarn and say, only they're knitting socks with it. Maybe I should actually, maybe only think about it if I want to knit socks, and I don't. So for now, I'll pass on it and look for something else to go and knit my cardigan. Instagram photographs can be really, really helpful. The other place you might find photographs and lots of different projects with your yarn is Ravelry. You can look for the yarn on Ravelry and it will show you all of the projects that has that have been knitted with that yarn. It will also show you people's stash of that yarn and lots of photographs again of the same colour yarn will really help you find out more about the yarn than you may do just looking at it on a single website. The other option, if you're in knitting forums or knitted face group, Facebook groups, ask. Organise a post and say, is anyone ever knitted with this? I'm thinking of using it with this pattern. Maybe you want to link to the pattern. Or I'm thinking of knitting a pair of socks or a jumper with it. And what does anyone think? Have they knitted with this yarn to knit something similar? And they'll say, oh yeah, it was amazing. I loved knitting that. I wear it all the time. Or yeah, it's probably not suitable for that. Go and look for something else. Actually, when I knitted something like that, I use this yarn instead. You get all sorts of advice coming your way and it can be really helpful to just discuss it with some other knitters. They know what you're looking for. They know your dilemma and they can really help you. And then in return, when someone else says, um, like in three months time, I was looking at this yarn to knit this, what does anyone think? You can give your advice as well. So the next option, and I do this, and I certainly have done this in the last six months when I haven't been able to get to a yarn store, is buying a single ball of it in the color that I'm choosing and having it delivered to my home. I will knit up a swatch or maybe I'll knit up a bookmark or a dishcloth and maybe I may even start the project that I was expecting to knit with it because why not? So I'll start knitting it and then say this is we're going really well that's fine and then I'll just order the other balls of yarn to match it. That's a great way to do it and say okay I will order one ball of yarn and just see what it's like. So one last tip for you is to look at lots of patterns for this yarn. And I actually find this useful. Rather than looking at what people have knitted with it, look at what the manufacturers suggest you knit with it. And all the different photographs that they do of their um, different yarns on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and in the pattern books um, and magazines. It can be really helpful to just peruse through all of the different photographs they have of the specific yarns. You'll see them being used in real life. It's not just a ball of yarn sat there with a white background on a computer screen. It's easy for you these days to actually go to the manufacturer's website, be that Knit Rowan or Serdar or um, 
garden studio or something like that and you can go through those different websites and say okay this is the yarn those are the different patterns that they suggest and you could look, possibly find 20 or 30 photographs of them just using this yarn to knit, knit lots of different items and it will give you an idea of where it's suitable when it isn't suitable and it will give you um, ideas of how the colour actually looks on different people as well that will easily be people using it and wearing it so if someone's just holding a blanket um, or if they're wearing a cardigan you say oh she's got red hair and it really is the wrong colour for her to wear it I'll make sure I don't knit that because I've got red hair as well but then there's someone who wear it, who's wearing it with blonde hair who say actually I like that colour maybe I'll knit it for my friend because she's got blonde hair you know <laughs> there are lots of different options for you so why not you know <laughs> there are lots of different options for you so why not think about that um, when you're knitting and when you're looking for the right yarn. If you have really narrowed it down, you desperately want to knit this pattern and you know which yarn you want to use, go and check through all of the different colours on the website and you never know, you may well actually change your mind about which colour you want to use because of those um, the plethora of images you'll find and you may be able to sit there and say, perfect, I knew it was the right one, I'm definitely going to get it. So there's lots of different ideas for you there. Look for the hashtags on Instagram and go through all of the projects for the particular yarn. Look up the yarn on Ravelry and again go through all the projects that people have knitted with it. You'll see lots of different colours on both of those options. Ask in forums or Facebook groups. People will have advice and ideas and they'll share their experience with you, um, knitting you with a similar yarn and um, different shades as well. And then I suggested that you might want to buy one ball of yarn before committing. And then the last one was to look at the manufacturer's website. It will have lots and lots of ideas for you with what you can knit with the yarn and all of the different shades in real life in the photographs, not just that as a single ball of yarn on a white background. Okay, thank you so much for joining me today. That is how you can pick yarn without going to a yarn store. Do subscribe and hit the notifications bell. That will let you know when there's a new video. I'm here every Tuesday, every week with a brand new video. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye for now. Happy knitting.